Hey you guys, welcome to another week of Julie's World. Yay! Um, I'm here in the studio in my painting coat and I've had a really good week and I'm excited to share it with you. I know there have been some comments about that the camera is sort of jumpy and stuff like that and I'm trying to get better. I'm learning this whole vlogging thing as I go. So I hope you enjoy the adventure and thanks so much for watching. So I have a lot of leftovers from doing my ketuba, so I'm going to put them to use. It is a dreary overcast day, so even though it's morning, my studio, which is normally so bright, is all kind of dark, but look at what's in my art journal. I love it. This is how all those little scraps turned out, and um, I think it's fantastic. I'm not going to cover it up. This is a finished art journal spread totally by accident. It's awesome. On my way to Whole Foods, it's super sunny and I can't even keep my eyes open, but uh, I'm about to buy stuff for an ice cream sundae bar. In the kitchen and Jen is putting together an amazing cheese board that I'm super excited about. Okay, so this is a super char sharp cheddar that like when you bite in, it, it has like that really great crystallization. And this is an uh, Indian beet jam I got at the farmer's market the other day. And... Um, this is Spanish ham. Um, we have homemade bread and butter pickles. And look at the dish that it's in. Isn't it's homemade cute? pottery. Isn't that lovely? I love it because it's little polka dots. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, this is called Sharp Max or Sharp to the Max. Um, is it cheddar? It's like a Gouda hard cheese, like an Alpine cheese. Gouda. Yeah. Um, a blue here. It's a U. It's a U blue. It's a sheep's blue. And then... Uh, what says that? Honey? And honey. It's a New York honey. It's really fruity. Because it doesn't look clear. It looks really like... Sort yeah. Of like thick. It's so good and sweet. I tried it with a whole bunch and this one was like the fruitiest. And then we have a triple cream brie um, and a pistachio cream. So it's like you pistachio had me at triple cream. peanut butter. Uh, and then we have pistachio some... Pistachio peanut butter. Yes. Well, oh. pistachio butter. Mm -hmm. Yes. And then these are the... Those are, are the brittle with the maple roasted uh, pumpkin Jesus. seeds. Yep, with uh, a little bit of black lava salt. And you made that last night, right? I did. Was it hard? Uh, it's uh, It gets stuck in your teeth. But it wasn't hard. <laughs> okay, it's cool. I did some sewing, and Jen made this beautiful necklace just hidden by her sweater. <laughs> Hey, so I'm in the car and I just listened to a really interesting podcast on Science Friday and it was all about how this was a scientist talking about science and art and saying that we actually get pleasure out of abstract art because our brains have to fill part of it in. It was actually, it was really, really interesting. So if you have a chance, give it a listen. my setup for photographing things. You can see I've got a big soft box and two other lights and I'm trying to photograph this ketubah. So here is a chair and what I do is I just stand on the chair so that I'm high enough over it to get the overall picture. I am currently engaged in a scientific experiment. I let the water that was in this pot the other day completely boil away. So I may have ruined the pot. So I filled it with water again and I'm setting it to boil and I'm gonna taste the water after it boils and see if it tastes funny, in which case I ruin the pan and if it tastes normal and I don't die, then it's fine. Okay, you guys, this is the moment of truth. I have a spoon. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into the water now. If I die when I eat this, then we'll know that the pot has been ruined. Let's see. If I burn myself, that'll also not be good. The water tastes normal to me, so I think that this pot, it means that it's safe to cook in. It wasn't a Calphalon pot or, um, or what's that called? Is it Teflon? Whatever it is. It didn't have a coating on it. It's just a metal pot, so... So I think it's okay. So I think I'm gonna live through it. Science experiment is a win. Thank you. 
this beautiful canvas I worked on yesterday and you can tell it's totally inspired by that art journal page that I used all the little scraps. So I've got some more work to do. Um, it's not quite dense enough, but I'm happy with how it's turning out. To buy or not to buy? That is the question. <laughs> getting an oil change. Just a couple quick things. Um, I had just had a really good conversation with my producer for Make It Artsy TV and she told me um, about some new sponsors who are in for our second season and especially a big one that I have been courting for such a long time and I'm so excited to have them be a part of the show and so I am like on cloud nine right now um but i don't have a lot of time to be on cloud nine because i have to go record we're doing a two-part podcast with a woman named kate parker and so we're about to record part one in about two minutes so anyway i just had to share because i'm so excited julie give me my earrings back no they're so pretty i want them listen i've got some graphic shrink film here for you and you have a brother scan and cut and you can make your own pair and you can too if you tune in to make it artsy lipstick or not to lipstick? That is the question. Sometimes when I have lipstick on, I feel a little bit vampy, so I don't know. I'm here at the museum I'm in the longest valet parking line because it's raining and the valet parking is free, but I'm ready to see the exhibit. The, at the MFA for the opening of the William Merritt Chase exhibit, and you can see in the Great Hall, there's all kinds of stuff a buffet of food. to the movies tonight to see the what is it called the amazing the magnificent seven the magnificent seven was fun it was really violent and i'm not so much a violent movie person but i enjoyed it and um i thought the end was kind of hokey but you know it makes me want to see the original and it makes me want to see seven samurai that it's based on so that's it thanks so much and i'll see you next week